Hi knitters, welcome to PJ Knits. My name is Penny and I live in central Illinois and I'm a knitter, a blogger, and a YouTube podcaster. And today is not really an episode, it's just going to be a shorty to talk about um, where I was last weekend and what I'm thinking about this weekend. So anyway, thanks for joining me for this shorty episode. Um, we're just going to call it a shorty. Um, today is Thursday, June 29th. And it right now in central Illinois, hey John, it's 79 degrees. It says mostly cloudy here, but it's sunny out. It's very humid. The air quality is still crap, um, which I hear that it's going to be better as we go into the day. But um, I don't know if you all watch Ryan Hall on YouTube, um, but I kind of, this kind of reminds me of him, but um, anyway, what I'm seeing on the radar is there's like this huge storm out, maybe coming across Iowa um, and working its way towards us mid uh, midday, or it may go north. Who knows? But it, it looks like we might get a little bit more rain here in central Illinois. So there you go, John. If you're thinking about going out and golfing today, I'd stay home because, the you know, it's still a little, uh, it's still a little, it's, a little smoky out there. Um, so anyway, um, thank you. We're going to uh, get started just with a shorty episode. I am trying something new. I'm using my um, AirPods um, on the suggestion of Kendra that maybe that would help with some of the sound. So we'll see how that goes when it um, makes its way to YouTube. But anyway, so um, last weekend, I was with my grandchildren over in Iowa, spent a lot of quality time with them, saw uh, a softball game, a baseball game rather, um, and got to take the kids to Harry Potter camp several days, which I think is so cool. Both of my oldest and my middle one got to go at separate times, and I thought it was just a really cool thing that they are doing in Cedar Rapids. We were not far on Monday well, not far the whole time, from um, the Quaker Oats plant. And the first day we got out of the car, and it smelled wonderful. I thought, oh, somebody's baking cinnamon rolls. And as the days went on, the day went on and the several trips back and forth, discovered that they were actually doing crunch berries. And it really, um, I'll never eat another crunch berry again, because after, you know, four trips downtown, um, it wasn't, as good smelling as the first thought out. So anyway, I got to spend some wonderful time with my grandkids and came home yesterday. Um, the air quality, as you all know, if you're in our area or upwards, um, is very, um, was very smoky. It was very hazy. Um, on Tuesday night, Tuesday afternoon, we didn't spend any time in outside in the afternoon than we had to. And then yesterday coming home, it was, I just couldn't believe how hazy it was. Closer I got to home, I thought, oh, wow, this is really hazy. And it is. It was very, very smoky. Um, air quality was, you know, in almost the second to last place. So um, as I got closer to home, I realized that some of the haze was a storm coming in. And we did get some rain, but here... It is so very dry. But anyway, that's where I spent my um, last weekend, had a lot of fun, and I have a couple of things I want to show you that I got to bring home with me. Um, my youngest gave me a picture for my um, refrigerator, and so a budding artist she is. And then my oldest granddaughter, um, a few years back, I bought her a rug hooking kit. She's been diligent working on it when we are um, together and I think separately and she sent it home with me for my knitting slash Snoopy slash viewing room upstairs. And so I'm gonna put it on the wall and here it is. She did a wonderful job. She's got another one that she's working on for her sister and for her room. And I just think that's so cool. And the thing that's interesting, when I was sitting there earlier in the week, my youngest granddaughter um, would say to her sister, hey, get out your, let's um, sit on the couch and grandma can do her yarny thing and when you guys can yarny together and so she was having helping her older sister to pick the um, rug yard out of the bag so I thought that was super fun and I just wanted to share that and I that is so much fun it is so soft and I'm so glad that she has a little 
um, something to do this summer. So I'm going to put that definitely upstairs. While I was up there, I was working um, pretty exclusively on something that I wanted to share with you. And it's called The Color Shift by Karina Spencer. And I picked out four colors um, out of my um, stash for this. And I've been working on this. And I, I am loving it. I know it's all one by one rib, but the, the, the way she has you um, construct it or knit it, it's so much fun to see what happens next. And the girls enjoyed it over there as well. And so here I have, um, I wanted to share that with you. So that was my soul, really my soul knitting on for the weekend because it was easy, pretty easy to uh, pick up and down. And it is four um, skeins of fingering yarn, whoops, out of my stash, or also known as PYS, Penny's Yarn Shop. And so that I'm having super a lot of fun with this. And this was um, a lot of fun that I could sit and knit it with uh, when I was with the kids or when they were having their um, screen time. So that's basically what I my last weekend was like. So um, fast forward. Here we are here in the United States. We are heading into a long weekend. The Fourth of July is actually on Tuesday. So maybe it's not so long of a weekend for a lot of you. But um, when I used to work at the college, um, if, it, if and when 4th of July was like this, we always got the 4th off. So either me or my assistant would finagle to get the 3rd off. You know, if it wasn't her, then I was taking it off, and sometimes we both took it off. So for some of you who have the option of taking Monday off, um, it could be a really long weekend. So I want to talk about the Burra Cow here. That's really my... Um, my whole intention of, of today's podcast to get this up. And for those of you um, who remember, we are doing a knit along with um, a multitude of other podcasters and yarn shops. I will list them in the description box below. Um, and we are doing this mostly all year long. My intention is to get mine done by the end of July. But if I don't, that's fine too. I will take to the mini meetup what I do have done. But it has not had a lot of love in the last month, despite my wanting to give it love and get moving on it. And if you um, need a refresher, this is the Burrock Howl. Mine is out of the Shetland book by Marie Wallen. And I am using all of the colors that she actually used in hers. And here is my progress right now. And I think um, I am into the second repeat, motoring on. But you can see I've done a provisional cast on. I did one less repeat in the round of mine. And I, I really am loving this. But what I'm not loving is all the ends that are in the inside or my, my start of rows. So um, here's what that kind of sort of looks like. And if I were to turn it inside out, I'm not going to do that. You would see there's, anyway, there's a lot of ends sitting here that are bugging me. So today I um, wrote on um, the Ravelry group, PJ Knits, that I was going to tackle. First of all, today, and you heard it, there, heard it here, read it there, I'm going to tackle these ends in the beginning of round and get this um, caught up. So that starting tomorrow afternoon-ish through the 4th of July weekend, I am proposing kind of a knit along um, if you want to participate. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me, that is that I am going to work as much as possible on my Burra Cowl um, starting tomorrow evening through the 4th of July. And so I am um, hoping that you will join me in this kind of mini knit along or progress update along when you can, is to work on your burra cow between now and the 4th of July. And if you would, post your progress pictures on the Ravelry group and or the Instagram. And if you do it on Instagram, please tag hashtag PJ Knits Burra Cow at the end of the 4th of July weekend. Um, 
Wednesday the 5th, when I get up, I will take all of the entries from Ravelry and from Instagram. And be sure and tag on Instagram, hashtag PJ Knits Burakal, because that's where I'll take them from. And at the end of that time, on Tuesday, Wednesday, I will pick a winner and we will be giving another one of the PJ Knits bags that Sandy, Queen Sandy, made for the podcast. We will give this away to those who are working on their Burra Cowl and tag me and um, or put their progress picture in Ravelry. So this is another, another cool bag. I love the inside of this. This will be a kind of a halfway point for the year um, mini giveaway and um, will be to those who pro, um, show their progress on Ravelry and or Instagram and you can post both places if you like and get double entry. We just want to start kicking this cowl off and working more, um, rather working more on it um, and with the intention of maybe getting it done in time for the mini meetup, at least for me in July, but it still will continue on um, till the end of the year for those who want to um, to take a little bit more time. That's perfectly acceptable. So that is my sole intention for making this little shorty today. Um, I hope for those who um, are able and are in the States that you have a great long weekend. For me, um, it's different again than it was maybe four or five years ago. Um, you know, we're sp I'm spending the time here. We will Zoom this Saturday. Um, so I hope if you can, the info is in the Ravelry group, group PJ Knits. Um, and you will join us there. This Saturday night, we'd love to have you. And to talk about knitting and life and other things and, and, and uh, from people all over the United States and out of the States. So um, have a great weekend, whatever you decide to do. Um, until knit till next time. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I hope you have a great weekend. Knit on with confidence and hope. And I hope, give me some feedback. Does this sound better with the iPods? AirPods. <laughs> ah, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. And by the way, <laughs> I am PJ Knits on Instagram. I am PJ Knits One on Ravelry. <laughs> I have a blog, www.pjknits.blogspot.com. And if you would, please comment below, like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Welcome to new subscribers, subscribers. Oh my gosh, Penny, you need to get off of here really quick. And it's only uh, 5 till 10 in the morning. <laughs> oh, guys, thanks for joining me. Bye.